Beef always seems to follow me, right? <laughs> no, um, this is how it went, man. Um, so after that interview you guys did on, on Valley 2, though, um, you guys, I don't know, it started at, you guys asked me about uh, what my next fight was. The thing is, I don't know if you guys know this, but my English is not perfect. You know, it's like I kind of mess up when I try to say some English words and try to kind of pronounce them in Spanish or, you know, what. I'm a, I'm a straight up, uh, my language is not really English. It's not Spanish, kind of Spanglish. Like, I try to say some things and maybe they don't mean it the way I say it. But anyways, uh, apparently Andrew got offended because I call him a tough little kid. But in reality, I meant tough young guy. That's why I kind of corrected myself, you know? So anyways, um, I guess he took it personal, you know, kind of used it to fire his, uh, his uh, get, use it as motivation and started going off on his Facebook, took me off his Facebook. You know, we were, we were cool. We were kind of respectful at the beginning. And um, so I, I saw that he didn't like me calling him a kid or the fact that I call him a kid. But, hey, man, I'm a 30-year-old man, man. You know, you're still in your teens, man. You're a kid to me, man. 30 years old, more than 12 years, the age difference. So, anyways, I didn't mean no disrespect by that, okay? Este, um, anyways, he didn't like me calling him a kid, and I kind of fueled on that, man. I fueled on that. I went after it. <laughs> I went after it, and I went after it. You're still a kid to me, man. You're still a little boy, man. You're still 19 years old. Uh, and, uh, and that's where we come with the shirts, man. Yeah, that's where it came from, man. It's like, I don't know. I just kind of figured, let me just send this little, this little boy to bed, you know? Just to, just, I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll see what happens. My training's been good, man. Uh, I've had a good training camp. I always train hard, man. I, I, I try to be, um, um, I've been training with Mr. Mr. B, uh, Mr. Luis Benavides from Team Pound. That's been my, my primary MMA coach for the longest. You know, he, um, he's the one I started my career, career with. And uh, I've been doing my Muay Thai, um, taking one-on-one -on -one sessions with uh, Kukayan. You know, you guys know, you know, what kind of Muay Thai he has. And, uh, and you know, my Jiu-Jitsu here, I train, I try to train, as far as the grappling, I train with everybody. I try to wrestle with as much people as I can. I try to roll with as much people as I can. I try to spar as with as much people as I can. But I like to train with the best, man. I don't like, I don't like going into a place and where I'm the dominant one. No, I like to go to the place where I'm gonna get pushed, when I'm gonna get, you know, they're gonna test me, you know? So I try to spar with the best guys around, you know? I spar with uh, my boy Danny Salinas, man. We, he's also, he's fighting for a title in this, this next XTSC. DJ Fuentes, uh, you know, Frank, Frank, Frank Trevino, also another of my sparring partners. And uh, so, you know, I, I, I try to train with the best guys around. I don't, I don't, um, you know, I just look for the best, man. Trainers, training partners, just look for the best. I kind of took it more as an experience. I mean, Roger, he is, uh, you know, he's a, you know, he's he's a veteran of, of, of you know, big name companies, and and uh, so you know, he's fought some of the best guys in the world. You know, it was just a privilege and an honor just to be able to train with him and you know, get to grapple with him and and you know, a couple, you know, what he did point something out from my, you know, as far as uh. Uh, as my stand-up, he pointed something out, you know, kind of helped me out, kind of correcting it, kind of understanding things better. Um, and uh, I was just amazed how good Dave Benet is on the ground, man. That guy's a beast, man. That guy's a beast on the ground, man. And, um, and um, you know, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. And, and like I said, um, just to be able to train with somebody of, the, of that caliber, you know, or, you know, somebody like Roger, you know, that was just, it was a great honor. I don't, I don't plan on losing, man. When, I, I guess a fighter, a fighter never trains to lose, man. We, we, I'm always, I win. I win. I always said this. I win the fight before even the before I even step in the cage. Uh, uh, right now, it's like I'm a man that don't like confidence, man. I don't like confidence. As soon as, as long as I'm in shape, skill wise, I don't like confidence. And and you know everything, you know, as far as I have uh, my the my the right mental state, the 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 right state of mind you know uh, uh there's no way i can lose this fight man i can't lose this fight i'm you know uh, i've been here before many times man this is not my first rodeo uh, when i step into a cage they you know you even hear some of those veteran fighters say they get that nerve i don't really get that nerve you see me talking to people before the fight you see me smiling at people before the fight 
uh, to me, like you said before, it's just a happy moment. It's, to me, it's just I step in there. It's just another day at the office. One more time. Let's do it one more time. Andrew, just come ready August 12th, man, and you saw my shirts. You saw, you saw the pacifier. I'm going to put you to bed, man. I'm going to put you to bed. 